What's up guys, it's your boy T-TermDog here coming at you with a tutorial for how you can transfer files from your old laptop over to your new laptop. You're going to need four things. One, you're going to need a broken laptop, obviously. You're going to need a new laptop, obviously. You're going to need a 1x3 inch screwdriver like this. I got mine from Ace Hardware. And you're going to need this thing right here, a hard drive adapter kit right here SATA wire I'm not sure how to pronounce that but yeah you can use this um, you can usually buy these from Best Buy or Amazon or anything else they're pretty common they're pretty cheap I got this one for about $25 but you can usually get one off of Amazon for like $8 but I didn't feel like waiting for one to get shipped over and I don't have Amazon Prime but anyways um, yeah so they're pretty cheap you can get them pretty easily so Step one, you want to get a screwdriver and you want to unscrew everything here. Um, one thing you want to look for is a removable part on the back of a laptop. So every laptop usually has a removable like, um, back part of the laptop with screws in them. So that way you can remove them so you can take the hard drive out if you absolutely have to. Um, in my case, since I have a Dell laptop, it's pretty obvious to tell which part is supposed to be removable and which part, well, isn't. Um, so this part right here is going to be removable. So for the sake of like time or whatever I had the liberty of having all the screws taken out and I have them all in a bag right here so basically you just have to do is you move the curve you move the cover right here usually there's like a little finger hole right here so you can just take it out take it out there you go boom this part right here is the hard drive this is what you want to get so in my case it usually has like some kind of protective plastic over it I tore the plastic off because I felt like just ripping it off but that's not how you're supposed to do it Mine was screwed down, so sometimes you're going to have screws here, 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 and here. Um, want to look out for that before you just take the hard drive out because it might damage it. So you want to take the screw, obviously unscrew it, and then you want to get rid of it. So now you can take the hard drive out. There's usually some kind of like um, cord or whatever that connects the laptop over to the hard drive. So in my case, it's this right here, so you can just remove it like so. And I, <laughs> I, I, don't, know where that, I don't know where that goes. Um, but I, I don't really care about that laptop anymore anyways. So this part right here, mine had like this plastic protective cover. So when you take the screws off and you remove the plastic cover, you're left with that and the hard drive. This is what you want to get. So as long as your hard drive isn't, com why is my speaker in the way? There we go. As long as your hard drive isn't completely screwed up, you should be able to transfer files. So this is what you want to use. You want to use the adapter kit and you want to plug the USB port into your laptop like this. And then you want to use this part to plug it into this part right here, like that. Um, it's upside down. There we go. So you want to plug it in like this. God fucking damn. There we go. So you got the hard drive plugged in now, and that should be able to do it. So now you can go back to your laptop and you can transfer files. Okay, so now that you have your laptop open. Now what you want to do is, usually you can scroll down and you'll be able to find something related to this. So as you see in the previous clip, you'll be able to find something like OSE. Um, I don't want to scroll, but, you know, as long as you guys don't like freaking hack me or whatever, you'll be able to find out. So yeah, um, then you go over to users, Tyler, whatever your name is, and then you have all of your old files. So in my case, if I want to look at my old videos, I can go down to videos and boom, you'll find all of my... Uh, uploaded videos and oh yeah look my top 10 strongest Uchiha videos Rise Son of Rome, Fortnite, Blue Dragon, some World of Tanks gameplays stuff like that so um, what you want to do now is you want to have two different files open you want to have one um, file explorer for your old laptop and then one for your new laptop so you have a place to put all of your files so you can just drag and drop them so let's say you want to move your Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay over to your new file you just do that and you're good. It should take a little while. Um, one thing that I should know. This is not my first time doing this. So if you do get like a prompt or whatever, like a message from the computer saying you do not have permission to access this file, um, you can just click on yes. If you, um, it should take a couple of minutes. It took me like five or six minutes for everything to load. But after that, you should be able to access all of your old files from your old laptop. In which case, you'll be good. So that is pretty much the conclusion of my video. If you guys have any questions, I will try to answer them. I'm not exactly tech support, so there's not really much I can do. But I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace.